After losing two of three games to start the season, the Brandon Valley boys basketball team has posted 10 straight wins, including last week's sweep of O'Gorman, Brookings, and Pier. Tonight, the second ranked Lynx played at number one Lincoln. Second quarter, Brandon Valley's Carter Altoff picks a pass, takes it the length of the court, bucket, and the foul. He had 14 points in the Lynx lead 22 14. A few possessions later, Grant Russell spins to the block and kicks out to Maxwell Burchill, who cashes in three of his nine points. Lincoln trims the deficit to 22 20. On the near end of the floor, Brandon Valley works the ball to Evan Telcott, who hits for three of his team high 17 points, links by five at halftime. Third quarter, the Patriots fight back as Jared Jaros invades the paint. Tosses in two and the foul. He had a game high 24 points, and number one Lincoln beats second ranked Brandon Valley 68 59. O'Gorman and rival Roosevelt cross paths at the Pentagon. In the closing seconds of the first quarter, the Knights' Jack Cartwright finds Luke Ronsick, who dribbles once and buries a three. He had 14 points. O'Gorman leads 16 5 after one. Second quarter, the Rough Riders flip the switch on offense. Tyler Feldkamp rises up and hits for three, cutting OG's lead to a pair. More from the night, though, as Zach Norton crosses over, steps back, and connects for two of his 14 points. And O'Gorman outlasts Roosevelt 42 41. After snapping a six game skid against Pier, Washington hosted Yankton. Second quarter, the Warriors trail by four until Gabe Pearson hits Ben Van Bockern, who rises up and connects for two of his 11 points, 23 21 bucks. On the other end of the floor, Matthew Moores brings it over half court, dribbles through traffic, and scores two of his game high 37 points. Bucks by four, and Yankton picks up a 69 54 win over Washington.